So on this problem, we're looking for the equation of the line that goes to the two intersection points of those circles. Now I could graph it nicely, like on, a, you know, on an actual GeoGebra graph and get the intersection point. But if I just did a quick sketch, hopefully we remember how we got the equation from this earlier, I think earlier this week. So if I graph this, it would look something like, in fact, I can even let's say it looks like this. Circle. This other circle would be centered at, what would that circle be centered at? 8, 4. So this is, and what's this centered at? So this center of this one is centered at 0, 0. So 8, 4, something like this. Let's see, 8, 4. I'm doing a sketch. And what's the radius of this one? 5. And what's the radius of this one? Root 65, which is more than 8. So it's just, let's, let's just say it looks something like, I don't know, like that. Okay. This week we did a problem where we actually drew, we were able to find quickly using algebra, that's not a great picture, but we want to find the equation of that line. Does anyone remember how we found the equation of that line pretty quickly? Madison. Subtract them. You can add or subtract them, but we'll, we subtracted them earlier. So the thing was, we can just subtract these equations and come up real quickly with the, that, the equation of this common chord. So let's do that. Okay, so let's, let's just subtract from the other. Now, I'm going to take this first equation, and I'm just going to simplify it out a little bit, like multiply it out. So we'd have x squared minus 16x plus 64 plus y squared minus 8y plus 16 equals 65. Everybody okay with that? So I just took this part right here and I just distributed that to this. Don't forget that middle term. And this one here, same thing. Don't forget that there's a negative 8y in there because you take these two, multiply them together, and double them. I just multiplied these out. This one. I got that. And multiply this out. Got that. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is take subtract this equation from it. So if I go minus x squared. Now notice I'm just kind of lining up my common terms here, my like terms. Okay, what's going to happen to the x squareds? They're going to add to 0, so all I'm going to have left is a negative 16x plus 64. The y squareds also add to 0, so minus 8y plus 16. And what will that equal? 40. 65 minus 25 is 40. We can do a little bit of simplification here. Say that again, Connor. Why'd you make it subtracting 25? I'm subtracting this whole equation, the x squared plus y squared equals 25, from that top equation. Okay. Okay. So now we can just do some algebra here. Combine like terms. Subtract that 80 from both sides. Again, I usually don't show those steps anymore. So that actually will work as an equation. If you wanted to set this into y equals form, you could, let's see, add the 16x. And then what would you do? Divide by negative 8. And you get y equals negative 2x plus 5. And that's the equation of that line that went through those circles. Okay, just for a little verification, here is a GeoGebra picture that has uh, both the circles and the line with the equation. y equals negative 2x plus 5. We can blow it up a little bit. Hopefully straighten it out a touch. 
and we can see that this right here ends up being y equals negative 2x plus 5.